Hello everyone, today we are going to be making over my upstairs living room. We use it as a gaming room and a casual place to hang out and watch TV and movies. As you just saw, we haven't finished painting up here just yet, and my husband ran some ethernet cables through the walls, so that's what all those random white patches are. We have a random hodgepodge of furniture up here, and overall this room could use some help. So let's begin by prepping for paint. I took everything down off the walls and filled any large holes that needed it. For those of you who don't know, I'm currently 8 months pregnant and I was about 4 months pregnant here so we hired someone to paint the walls for us. I typically do all of the painting myself around here so to have it done in 3 days without having to lift a finger was pretty magical. We use the same white paint as our downstairs living room. The color is called Du Jour by Valspar and the accent wall is tricorn black. Here's what the room looked like after putting the furniture back in. We're keeping the couch, chair, and rug, but getting rid of our current desk and adding a built-in one. I will show you my inspiration for that in just a second. We're also keeping this TV console that I made from my IKEA hacks video. I will link that video below if you want to check it out. Okay, before I show you my desk inspo, we need some window coverings. These are faux linen blackout curtains from Amazon that I love. I also have a pair in my bedroom. I will link them in the description below. I paired them with some sheer curtains from Ikea for a soft, layered look. Now my inspiration for our desk came from Survival of a Suburban Mom's gorgeous office built-in. I love the combination of black shelving and butcher block with brass hardware, so we will be going for something like this. We have these two cabinets custom built to serve as the bottom portion of the desk. I considered a lot of pre-made options before doing this, but we really wanted the desk to be a specific height and depth and I just couldn't find that in a pre-made cabinet. The first step in our desk installation was removing part of the baseboard so that the cabinets would sit flush against the walls. I used a Multimax tool to cut into the baseboard and then a pry bar to remove the cutout section. Don't forget to score along the caulking for a clean removal. We also wanted access to this outlet for our printer, so I cut a hole in the side of the cabinet that it lined up with. To support the desktop, my husband secured a 2x4 to the studs in our wall in the back and a metal bar across the front secured to the cabinets. He used a scale saw to cut the butcher block to size and then used dowels and pocket holes to join the three pieces together. Here are the dowels. I didn't get a shot of the pocket holes on the bottom, but trust me, they're there. He sealed the desktop with this Minwax clear satin finish. And here's what it looked like once it was installed. For the built-in shelves on the desk, we use these pre-made bookcases from Amazon. I will link them and everything else in the description below. They're particle board and very similar to the IKEA Billy bookcases in material and assembly. 
They ended up working perfectly for this project despite a few complaints I had. The first being these weird gray pieces that held the back panel together. I decided not to use the back panels at all after comparing with and without. The right shelf is with the panel, the left is without. The only issue with not using the panel is this unpainted groove that they fit into. To fix this issue, I just painted it black with some of the leftover tricorn black paint I had. Another problem I had with these shelves is that the advertised measurements were wrong. I was expecting to have to cut them shorter to fit the space, but they were actually about four and a half inches from the ceiling. So I bought this five inch crown molding to fill the gap and it actually worked out great. I painted the trim tricorn black as well and installed it with a brad nailer. Side note, my mom got me this brad nailer for Christmas and I am obsessed with it. I am literally looking for excuses to use it. I love the way this trim turned out. It's amazing how much a little molding can elevate the look of a shelf. Next, I filled all the pre-drilled holes on the bookshelf with wood filler and then painted the wood filler black. I also painted over the brad nails and some small imperfections that I filled in on the trim. Here's what they look like after all the filling and painting. I got really excited and decided to do some shelf styling. Now it's time to install the cabinet hardware. I decided on these small, flat, round brass knobs from Amazon because I wanted something simple that would complement the hardware I have on my console table. After way too much deliberation and Pinterest searching on cabinet hardware placement, I marked and drilled the holes and installed the knobs. I really wanted some gallery lights at the top of the bookcases, but do you guys know how much gallery lights cost? The prices shocked me, but then I found these rechargeable LED lights on Amazon. They were exactly what I was looking for. They're magnetic, so you can just pop them off the base when they need to be charged. The only thing I don't love, and maybe I'm nitpicking here, is the color. It's a sparkly yellow gold that reminds me of a kid's toy or something. So I decided to paint them. I'm using my favorite gold spray paint, Rust-Oleum Bright Coat Gold. After I installed them, I painted the bracket and screws black to blend into the bookcase better. I just felt like it gave the whole thing a cleaner look. My husband took care of this cable spaghetti by organizing and attaching the cords to the bottom of the desk, and then routing the necessary cables up through these holes he drilled in the desktop. The last step is putting everything back on the walls. For now, I'm just adding the mirror back onto this one. I would like to add something to spice up this wall a little bit, but so far I haven't come up with any solid ideas. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. 
I rearranged some of our wall art in a gallery wall around the TV. And hung up some posters on the opposite side of the room. Oh, and we also picked up this fancy little cord cover from Amazon to clean up the wires under the TV. Now, before I show you the results, let's take another look at the before. And here's the after. As a finishing touch, my husband replaced our old ceiling fan with this more modern white one. I made these Roman shades using a great tutorial from the DIY Mommy that I will link down below. And I picked up this coffee table from Facebook Marketplace. I am so thrilled with how this room turned out. I hope you love it too. You can follow me on Instagram at happyhomemama.diy and over on TikTok at happyhomemama. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and thank you so much for watching.